we're going to look at the log functions and their inverses intuitively. So when we look at y equals log base 2 of x and we think about graphing it, we think about graphing its inverse function and its inverse function its inverse function is 2 to the x power. Very quickly, y equals 2 to the x has points at 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4. The inverse function has points at 1, 0, 2, 1, and 4, 2. And they are symmetric about the line y equals x. I'll quickly draw that just because I can't help myself because it's so cool. And there you go. So we've got some symmetry going on about the line y equals um, x. So if we look at y equals log base 5 of x, it should be pretty simple to see that it's inverse would be 5 raised to the x power. Now let's try another one. y equals natural log of x. I'll give you a couple seconds to think about it, or you can hit the pause button, think about it, and then press play when you're ready to check your answer. The inverse would be y inverse is equal to e to the x. Now here we have something where we're subtracting 1 inside the argument. So you might be thinking, well, this would just be 3 raised to the x minus 1. Well, let's take a look at that. If we go through the process of reversing our x's and our y's, and then remember, we need to solve for y, to find y inverse. To solve for y, I'm going to need to um, put this into exponential form. So I have 3 to the x equals y minus 1. To solve for y, I add 1 to both sides. And that would be our inverse function. So you don't just take the base and raise it to the argument. You really need to think about the inverse operations. I'm subtracting 1 inside, subtract 1 inside the function. Therefore, its inverse operation would be to add 1 outside its inverse function. So like I said, we're going to do this intuitively, so let's try, we'll take a look at another. y equals log base 4 of x plus 5 minus 1. Well, we know that this has to do with y inverse equals 4 to the x power in some way, shape, or form, because our base is 4 and x is in our argument. Well, what am I doing here? I'm adding 5 inside the function, so that means I'm going to subtract 5 outside the inverse function. I'm subtracting 1 outside, therefore I'm going to add 1 inside the inverse function. And it's as easy as pi, like that. I don't know how pi is, but it's pretty easy if you think about inside and outside. So here's our, our inside, right? So this is inside our function. So the plus 5 becomes a minus 5 outside the function. And then minus 1 outside the function is going to become plus 1 inside the function. And there you have it. y inverse equals 4 raised to the x plus 1 minus 5 power.